guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode seven, and today we're gonna to be talking about classes slash setters. So basically, last episode we made getter methods. Now we're making setters, where we can actually change the variable outside of the main class. So here we have our setup, pretty much the same thing as last time, except I added a constructor method where we can predefine it as two. So what we can do here is we can create an object. I mean, obviously this is static, so this can be accessed anywhere. So what we can do is if we do console a dot number, now that's not gonna work because this is private, but if we make a getter, it will return two, just like we did last time, except instead of zero, it's two. All right, so I'm not gonna touch anything there. All right, because we don't have a getter, but we, don't re we really don't need to do this to kind of explain that last time but we need what if we want to change this outside of our class so two things the difference between doing this statically is that we only want to change it like this if we want to change this entire class this default or just its variables in general so if it says a blueprint and this is being used throughout the entire namespace as like, a, like for example, let's say our namespace is school or our main class is school. And let's say we have a ton of these. If we change this number, it'll change for all of them because it's static, right? However, it's not static, then we're only gonna change it for our predefined object. So first I'm gonna show you how to do it, what it looks like for static. So here we're gonna make our method. We're just gonna call it public void. It's void because we're not returning anything. Public void set number. Now this is different because it's going to be, we're, we're going to be inputting a number. So we're just going to do int x. Now this can be named anything. So whatever you'd prefer. So in here, this is pretty easy because basically we just do whatever you want to set number equals x. Now in here, if you have another variable, you can always set more than one variable. So let's say you want to set numbers and you have number one, number two, you can do int x and x or int y, and you can change number one equals x, number two equals y, if that makes sense. It doesn't just have to be one number. All right, so there's our setter, very easy. Instead of returning, we're setting something. In here, now what we do here, since this is static, also, before I forget, this is a static class after all. So we have to do public static void. Okay, make sure you put the static or else it won't work. So another thing I forgot to mention, this is static, but what about our constructor? Is that static too? It actually is. This on purpose, just to see if you're following along and just so I don't forget to explain that. But this is supposed to be a public static A. Okay, let's so make sure it's static. All right. Sorry, my phone keeps running out of storage. I need to clean it up. But anyways, uh, I kind of didn't realize that happened until I started writing stuff. So I'll kind of explain what I did. So basically what I did here is that, so last clip we did static, right? Yeah. So what I did here is that we created our A object right here and we decided to add int x over here because let's say we want to predefine what number is when we created that object, right? So now in here, we do temp dot set number and then we put our integer in and it will change number in object a to four. All right. So now in this situation, in this setup right here, we don't have to have static, right? Because we're creating objects. But let's say we want to also do a dot set number and let's say we want to set this to five all right so this will change the blueprint version of number to five right this is different from here this is an object this is the blueprint basically this is like a default for this so if we didn't have this at all and we didn't have this constructor so let's clear this Let's clear that too. Let's make this two. 
Let's get rid of that. So let's say, let's say it looks like this, right? So if we create this right now, number will be two, okay? However, if we change the static version to five, and then we do temp equals new A, the number is gonna be five instead of two, because we basically just overrided this with a new version of the static method or the static class of A. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So basically, um, so we want that to be two, right? So before, this is two, number is two, but in here, number is five, because we are replacing, this is, this is replacing two, okay? All right, hopefully I didn't miss anything or didn't get anything wrong. I am positive this is how everything works. Um, Cause I personally don't handle this on a daily basis. So if I'm wrong, let me down below and I can correct this video. But otherwise, if I did and you like this video, make sure you leave a like. Every single like means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace.